Libra, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do your reading for the first week of 2024. The 1st to the 7th of January has arrived. Some of you are watching this a week out. I welcome you here. Thank you for all the support you've been giving this channel. We had an incredible read, didn't we, Libra, for the annual reading. Thank you for all the love and support you've shown me, especially for that reading. Um, my little doggy, Pomsky, Stella, she's not often with me, but she wanted to come down. I've been doing other readings this morning, and she wanted to join us. So we've got a nice, uh, sweet little puppy. She's not a puppy, but she looks like one. Uh, she's three. Energy with us today. So just if you notice her, she might move around during the reading. But Libra, I am so excited to uh, share with you the Oracle message. It, it was really profound. Um, I had to take some space with the card for a little while and really sit with it because it brought up a lot of excitement. Um, before we get into that message, uh, I want to also express to you um, that I am filming on the Cancer Full Moon today, so I'm feeling a lot of energy. This is a very heightened, uh, sensitive time for a lot of us is release the old and welcome the new, okay? And Oh, there's just such there's this beautiful glow up happening within the Libra Collective. And I think a lot of you who have found my channel recently, we're really connecting, you know, you're vibing with me and I'm vibing with you and I'm really connecting on such a deep level. And um, I just, I honor, I honor the space between us and I'm excited to see where we go with it in the new year. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and start pulling some tarot cards before I get into this Oracle message, okay? We'll take a moment to, to thank Spirit for their guidance. And thank you for tuning in today. Ah, sharing this space with me and with Spirit. Thank you, Spirit, for your guidance for all the Libra Collective. All right, for this reading. One more shuffle. Okay. I'm just going to throw the spread down. And um, then we're going to talk about this Oracle message. Mm, 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 mm. You were on quite a journey in the past. I know a lot of you have been healing your heart space. Mm. A lot of depth here in this reading. Yeah, because the overall general, general energy for the week is death, transformation, right? Rebirth. I'm getting rebirth energy. King of Wands and your opportunity. <laughs> that King of Wands is very prevalent in your life. Challenge is the Ten of Wands. Whatever is hard for you, is almost over, okay? The hardship is almost over, I'm hearing. What you don't see coming is you could, someone around you could be disappointed. I'm not really feeling that's your energy. I think maybe this was a previous energy for you, something that, you know, what you don't see coming is that could be leaving you, this energy of disappointment, right, on your path. Because you're going, you're flying high here, Libra. This energy, wow, I had to really sit with it because it brought up this remembrance you have, um, and this comes by way of the gateway of light activation. It's a brand new deck to me. I got it for Christmas. Really speaks to that deep, deep need and yearning for um, higher wisdom, higher truth. The light activation, you know, the multidimensionality aspect of our lives and our lives between lives and our lives beyond this one. I don't know if many of you know this term. Um, I'm familiar with it. It is the Merkaba activation card. That is what you have for the week ahead. Look at how beautiful that is. Let me um, put my glasses on so I point in the right direction. This is what we call a eight-pointed star or a star tetrahedron, okay? And the Merkaba has ancient Egypt and Hebrew roots. The Hebrews actually have it as one word, Merkaba, right? Not the hyphen here that you see in the card, okay? And the Merkaba to the Hebrew ancient knowledge and the translation is vehicle or chariot, okay? And the Egyptian is this spelling with the hyphen in between, which means mer means light, ka means spirit, and ba means body, okay? So this all gets distilled down into this, there is a, a an eight-pointed star, right, that is our vehicle to travel from this dimension into other dimensions. And I know it sounds very esoteric, but for people on the spiritual path, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're like, yes, yes, I know what the macabre is. If you don't, it's a beautiful um, well of 
deeper knowledge of how much light we carry once we activate this Merkaba. It is a sacred geometrical shape that takes place when these two, basically, you know, pyramids start spinning. They spin and it creates a sphere of unbreakable light, right? And a lot of us, when you meditate and you start feeling like this hum and you lose the, the dimensional aspect of your body, that's the Merkaba starting to open, okay? Some of you are so familiar with it in your dream state that you jump in that Merkaba, it's a vehicle, right? And I've had, I've done a lot of work in this realm in the past. Um, Metatron is also associated with the Merkaba and He's been a very powerful guide in my life that, that showed up around eight years ago. And I've worked very closely with deeper states of meditation where you can really open up and, and go to this portal within you, right? That will allow you to jump into a vehicle-like energy that will take you to different dimensions. Now, some people do it in their dream state. Some people do it in meditation. So all of this gets distilled down to one very true, very true truth, right, Libra? Is that you... Are on the process of ascension and you are as you the card says you are rising up so you are starting to move between dimensions and this week especially you need to be hyper aware of the information the energy and the downloads right that you receive especially this week because it's coming through to support your expansion okay your Makaba is being activated. For a lot of you that this is totally new, it's going to revolutionize your spiritual practices. There's never been a greater period of my own spiritual development and growth than when I discovered that what, what the Makaba is. In fact, it was such a pivotal time in my life. Some of you have seen this. I actually have one tattooed on me. Fun fact, this is actually a crop circle that appeared, appeared on the day that Dr. Emoto, who studied these droplets of water under a microscope when frozen, actually are influenced by our thought processes. So when you think of, when you look at an, anything in the natural world and you, and you show it with intent, love, and light, that you know, we've all seen those plant experiments, right, online, where you see like students that, that give a plant love and light, it just flourishes and then they give it negative energy, negative words, it actually dies or just really doesn't really grow. So Dr. Moda wanted to have a world like love day because when he started studying water droplets, which we are comprised of, he started to notice that when he put intentional words on the outside of these experiments that that influenced the shape of the crystalline structure, right? Which looks like a snowflake when frozen, when water is frozen, which you can see when you go walk in the snow and you look at the water crystals and the snow falling. So regardless, the reason why I bring this up is like, you know, this crop circle came about through his work, celebrating and honoring his work. The day it was put in a crop circle in the UK was the very day they were honoring this fact. So this all brings me to the same truth that we are all connected. And I have this in honor of of the beauty that is within us, okay? When we really do the work to expand, all right, so <laughs> big week. This all ties to your annual reading around you are a magical creator. When you start digging deep into the treasure trove of your own soul, there's so much light there, it's astounding. So this week, you're gonna really be bursting open and flying high based on an activating moment. You could have a major epiphany or it could just be a download. Something pivotal is going to happen on your spiritual path this week. You are going through this massive transformation. All right? <laughs> okay. All right. I got to like bring it down. I just got really excited. Ooh. Because when you start holding higher energies, your body starts to buzz and it starts to vibrate. And um, I'm feeling this energy coming on already, reading for you all for the week ahead. So enjoy the ride, my friends. Recent past, let's bring it down to the tarot now. This ground, that air energy, right, that we have as Librans. We have the moon and the temperance and the three of swords. So when I say that it was quite a feat for you to heal and come back into a balance after a deep, deep, deep wound in your heart space, it's, yeah. Libras, you all have been really healing um, from karmic, multiple karmic cycles and uh, multiple 
hurts. It's not one. I think it's many. Um, healing from the pain, surgically removing the pain from your heart and coming back to into balance took a hell of a lot of work. In the near future, a lot of you are um, feeling very strong, right, in your sense of self. Some of you have a partner by your side. Some of you don't. Some of you are waiting on love, okay? And you're doing it with such a sense of fearlessness and trust and spirit that it's it's actually quite touching. I really feel that for many of you who find yourself single at this time, you still have a lot of hope and faith um, in, in, in the wait, in the waiting, right? For the right love, right? The love that, that um, almost brings out that child in you. And it's hard. The challenge is it's hard. It's hard to forgive the past and it's hard to have faith and open up into future, right? When it comes to our hearts, right? And, and I do believe that this is, this is what's draining away from you and you're cutting away is, is being disappointed in love, being disappointed in other people, right? And doing the work to transform. I just saw 11-11. Um, so again, Merkava, Metatron. Metatron is 11. And that's why I have one more note. That's why 11-11 was an earlier tattoo I got when I first started my journey in spiritual life way back when in my 20s. So this was my 20s. 11-11 felt very strongly linked to this number. In fact, both my partner and my daughter share this in very weird, mysterious ways. A lot of you may be directly linked to Metatron yourselves. I think it's a part of the Libra journey is the 11-11 marking and the Metatron and a Merkaba work, okay? So go dive deep into it, my friends. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. That's why I have it tattooed. Okay, circling back. What's this transformation that you're going through, Libra? Especially this week, it's profound because you're opening up your light body. <laughs> oh my God. Spirit's just so beautiful because you have a brand new cycle. You have four, <laughs> just so you know, I have a major, right? For the general energy for the week with another major at the bottom signaling you've ended a cosmic journey, multiple cosmic journeys, multiple lifetimes. And here you are clarifying, right? You want to see? Three majors, clarifying. Can't make it up, guys, okay? Girls, guys, non-binary, all of you are welcome here. Even this modern deck, it's, it's a non-binary, all-inclusive deck because I speak to all souls here because we are all souls out of these suits that we have, right? We are all souls inside. Empress, death, strength. You have gone through multiple endings and now you recognize that you have rightfully earned Empress status, which is the Mother Earth herself. You are a creator. <laughs> and I think you're starting to realize it took so much transformation for you to get here, Libra. And Spirit wants to bow down to you and honor the path that you've been on because you've done a lot of healing work to get here. And it hasn't come without a lot of loss along the way and a lot of hardship and a lot of hurt. Okay, we grow, unfortunately, a lot of times in this lifetime through the pain. And I think that you all are recognizing that and almost bowing down and honoring that within, which is a beautiful, beautiful turn, right? From victimhood to empowerment, true empowerment. I'm like, actually, like this, this feels like a very, even more important than the annual reading today. I don't know why. I don't know why this first week is such an important week for Libras. But it's a very, very important week. It's like so you're reintegrating yourself. Wow. Yeah, your opportunity. This is a very specific card to this deck. I love it because it's like, and it's the reason why my little wolf dog wanted to be here. She's not wolf, but she's got that wolf um, mentality where she will, like, she'll get fierce with you. She's little, she's small, but mighty. This is when we wrestle with our ego, right? And we wrestle with our path through ego. This is when we... Um, really accept our soul work and our sense of self. So I think what you're realizing is you've spent your opportunity is to realize that sometimes your passion, right, has gotten the better of you in your past. And now it's like you're being humbled, the page of wands. You're being humbled by what it takes to be a unified field all into yourself and also to build a team of people around you that support you in your passions, right? You no longer have to wrestle with others or within yourself to feel like you are supported 
That is your opportunity this week. You don't have to wrestle through ego to feel supported on your path anymore, okay? This is about self-acceptance, transcending those parts of ourselves that we resist. What we resist persists. So you are now recognizing, oh, in order for me to be in balance, I actually have to ask for help and be and to settle down on my pride to receive help. So many Libras sacrifice themselves for the greater good and they realize, well, I need help too, right? You're coming out of a state of feeling abandoned by others. It's a huge week of integration for you all this week. And let me go straight to, well, these four fell out around the Ten of Wands, your challenge. You have someone from your past and it's interesting that that's coming up. This could be a past person or current person. What, whoever this is in your life, that's been your source of friction. Okay, the hard, right? Whatever it was the hard in a soul connection, it was your, grow, your growth edge, okay? You worked and worked and worked and worked and worked and worked and worked, right? To make this relationship work, all right? Some of you, you were still kind of in that, I'm letting this go, right? The fight, right? The struggle. We have the five of swords, the six of cups, the eight of pentacles, and the judgment over the ten of wands in your challenge. So your challenge is to let go, okay, hun? Let go of the fight. The connections that are meant to stay in your life will stay. The ones that drop away. I actually heard something this morning coming into this around emotional retirement. I believe it was Phil Good. And he was talking about emotional retirement means you're no longer going to be fighting with people to throw up boundaries because you actually are, are releasing certain soul contracts in your life that you had to really be like so strong to protect yourself that now you're kind of emancipating yourself from the need to even have certain boundaries because you don't even you don't even go toe to toe with those energies anymore. You're like, no, I'm now only calling into my life people who are so aligned with my vibe and where I'm headed that I don't even need to have those types of boundaries anymore because those energies are no longer allowed. So it's, it's interesting. It's almost like you're dissolving certain boundaries because those contracts are done. They're expired. They're done over, dead, over, okay? You've kind of even had your moment of putting judgment on someone from your past and standing up for yourself and how much hard work it took for you to reclaim parts of yourself that you gave away in this. In this. So this whole challenge for you to put it simply, is that you are now no longer giving away parts of yourself and you are now recognizing that, yes, there are boundaries up, but they're almost like they're honored now. And it's almost like you don't have to keep reinforcing them, right? Because the people that, that are meant to be in your life, you don't have to keep reinforcing a boundary, right? And the people who need to go, they're gone, okay? That's the challenge is, is exercising proper discernment and doing the work, right, to release what needs to be released. That's the challenge, right? And the work that you did to come back into balance over the pain, that came at, at, at the gift of the cost of that was having to let people go. But the gift of that is now it's easier for you, right, to be okay with yourself and to vibe where you vibe and align with yourself. And therefore, the people around you will align right up to that. There's nothing to prove anymore, Libra, to yourself or others because you're already there. Mm, you're already there. I hope you get that. Okay. What you don't see coming is this four cups. Yeah. A lot of you waited a long time for someone to come back. Okay. We're going to say that because there's two six of cups here. A lot of you have waited for someone to come back. And you're starting to realize, well, I waited so long that, like, it doesn't even matter anymore. Like, there's a pause right now and a regrouping going on and you really taking into consideration the things that were unhealthy in your past what you don't see coming is this energy of the past okay that ruled you ruled over you took advantage of you took something from you you said i'm no longer going to let anything interfere with my golden opportunities in this life Nothing's going to stand away in the way of that. <laughs> You're integrating so much, but it's all a lot of this is based on a couple contracts 
with past people that you've decided there's no need to wait anymore because you've, 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 yeah, I'm telling you what, some of you, some of you are stressed out about a connection because you want at least some sort of closure or a healing event or at least some sort of new hope, right? But it's, it's around like this. Hold on, let me do this three of three of wands to get this last message out. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. It's almost like you're telling me the story of where you found your strength, where you regained your sense of control over your own self. And it all it's like your new beginning, Libra, is you recognizing that you don't need to stress out about the people in your life that are meant to be in your life. The only reason why you would be stressed out about anyone in your life right now is because they don't fit in your new alignment, in your new vibration, in your Merkaba, okay? Your Merkaba is for you and you alone. It's your spiritual journey, and you get to decide what stays and what goes. And you are claiming victory, because out of this weight that you thought you were waiting for someone, it was actually you were waiting for yourself to arrive. And now you're like, whoa, this doesn't have anything to do with anybody anymore right now. It's about me. It's about me walking away from the emotional component that people put on me that was never even mine to begin with. You are claiming victory over the parts of yourself that you have released. You've released. There's nothing to wait for anymore, Libra. You've released this. Because you recognize what was unhealthy and how long you paused. I think that you actually thought you were waiting for someone for a while. And then you realized, I don't even want them. You just wanted them to come back so you could prove it to yourself that you were right. But all the long, you actually just needed to let go of the hurt, of the pain, of the drama, of the strife, of how hard it was to keep certain people in your life that didn't belong anymore. No longer wrestling with the ego, okay? I hope that made sense. We went pretty deep today. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's get some advice from Spirit. You were claiming victory because now you're being completely guided by your intuition. No longer are you being guided by your, your, your wounds. Your wounds are no longer being triggered in the same way because you've done so much healing work around them. Hmm. Spirit was the advice, yeah. And now, now, now you're in your new beginning because you, it's like you, <laughs> you had to do something very drastic in 2023, Leah, but I think you got tested over and over again around certain soul contracts who wanted to come back or at least wanted some piece of you. And you said, you know what? No, no, I'm investing in myself now. I have hope and faith in me because it's all I can control. And you did it. You did it, Libra. I can't wait to see what happens in 2024 for the Libra Collective. You are in a fresh, brand new, beautiful vibration. And you are ascending because there ain't nothing that's going to be dragging you down anymore on your path. Tying up so many karmic cycles. And you were lighting that Verkaba up. You're like, fire up those engines, ladies and gents. We're going places this year. That is my reading to you. For you, with you. We share this journey together, my friends. I'll see you in the next one.